Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore Ariza Hero's grave. See what's in here first. Also trying out one of those new weapons. Gonna try the Magic Ant Spur Repair first. One that causes Scarlet Rod buildup. Ooh, Golden Epitaph. Probably requires faith. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's special as Last Rites. It's a straight sword. Sword made to commemorate the death of Godwin the Golden, first of the demigods to die. Infused with the humble prayer of a young boy. Oh, brother, Lord, brother, please die a true death. Last rites, raise the epitaph to grant the effect of sacred order to yourself and allies in the vicinity. Particularly effective at laying to rest those who live in death. Hmm. That is such a cool looking sword. Oh my god, it's incredibly intricate. But not something for me. Oh no, is this another one of those traps? I think I'll stay right here. Try down. Oh yeah, that looks better. But what is up? Ah! I'm just gonna go down. Mm, let's try out this other weapon that I'm trying out. Right, it has Bloodhound Step as the special. Oh no. Yeah, I don't want to get near those things.
Okay, where the hell do I want to go? I don't want to miss anything. Well, I guess there's nothing stopping you from just, like, because they're misaligned, they're not going at the same time, I can just go back and forth between the two sides. Over here's where the light was, right. You're not going to switch and, like, come over here, are you? Oh, yes, you will. Oh god, now they're kind of aligned. Okay, now they're back to being misaligned. Somehow. Ugh. Oh, come on. What do we got here? Bird. Hmm. Well, like a death right bird or whatever they're called. Let's try to laser beam it. a fair amount of damage. But yeah, I don't think these are the best ones to laser beam. So we have two Crucible Knights at the same time. Alright. I'm going to try the laser beam one more time. It's too fun. Plus it can hit both, I think, at the same time.
No. Oh. Nah, I can't use it anymore. Okay, one down. See if I can aff afflict them with Scarlet Rot. Would you get Scarlet Rot already? They also might be particularly resistant to Scarlet Rot. Very possible. They have such heavy armor. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Ordovis' Greatsword. Crucible Axe. Helm. Armor. Gauntlets. Greaves. Are those the same as the ones I already have? I'm not sure. Ordovis' Greatsword. It is a greatsword. <laughs> Does Ordovis' Vortex. Takes faith and strength. Great Sword of Ordovis, one of the two honored as foremost among the Crucible Knights. This sword is imbued with an ancient holy essence. Its red tint exemplifies the nature of primordial gold, said to be close in nature to life itself. The Vortex channel the power of the Crucible to spin the entire sword in mid-air, building momentum before slamming the blade down onto the ground. This skill can be charged to increase its power. And let's take a look at the armor. I think it might be stuff we've already found. And I probably just put it away. Like, is it the same as what I'm already wearing? Crucible Greaves? Yeah, it's the same. Let's explore up here around the Capitol Rampart. So if I go there, there's... Uh, that's where I teleported to a while ago. And there's a fog wall right here. Like a boss wall looking thing preventing me from going outside. I don't think there's actually a boss there. I think that's just to prevent you from like getting path past the lift of Dectus. But let's see what's there. Oh. Oh, there is a boss. Hmm. I'm feeling like a little bit of laser beam. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dragon Great Claw. I feel kind of bad for doing that. <laughs> Dragon Claw Shield. And now we have a nice um, Sight of Grace to get to this area. 
Because this one is way underground. I'd have to take the lift all the way up. So this one's a lot nicer. What the heck was it that I got? Oh, this dragon great claw. Takes 30 strength. Colossal weapon. Weapon said to have been whittled from the claw of a great ancient dragon. Wielded by grotesque tree sentinels who yet serve the Erd Tree. The claw is enwreathed with lightning and tears through the dragon's feeble descendants with ease. Yeah, it does lightning damage. And we also have the shield, 28 strength. Great shield said to have been whittled from the claw of a great ancient dragon. Uh huh. So pretty much the same description. Imbued with lightning. That looks really cool. Oh, that's really cool. Straight down. Oh. Yeah, so if I just go the other way on this fork here. Here it is. Ariza's side tomb. I think I can level up. Just short. <gasps> Ooh, I th think we're starting to get soft capped on our HP that we get. So I think usually we get like 40 or so. This one we just get about, well, exactly, 26. Hmm. So I think 40 might be the soft cap then. I'll probably stop putting points into that then. What do I put points into then? Make my death beam even stronger? Sure. saw some tiny pots. Oh! <laughs> He's scared. Oh, this one's brave. You don't count as beasts, do you? You're not scared of my light? No, they're not. Oh, this one's got a different colored, uh, like, cap. Actually, I think I maybe want to be teleported. Will you take me? Oh no! This looks like the same room. But it's not.
Be wary of up. Okay, I think this is going to be another teleporter. Oh no! Why would you do that to yourself? Okay, I was expecting them to explode, but... Oh, there we go. No trap ahead. Ugh. Well, is the other one not a trap then? Or are they both traps? They're both traps. Ah. Hmm. Don't know which way to go first. Maybe the hidden path? Take me back. Hmm, yeah, it does. Oh. That's it? This is just the area we've already been. Oh, wait, no, there's more. Carefully. We looked through that window before. I've already been down here. Yeah, a message said this is just a detour. I think this is it. Yeah. That was a pot. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was a pot. That'll just take me back. Pots can't climb.
Wait. This is fucking with my head. This looks exactly like the place we were just at before I turned around. Except that place didn't have a lever here, but it had the same... Everything else is the same. That's the same. The window up there is the same. Could the other place have been something new? I don't know. No, it doesn't make any sense for it to be something new. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Okay, the way that I thought was... Pointless that looked exactly like the area we've already been to is actually not an area we've already been to. It just had the same outline, like layout. Hey, sorry. Okay, I'm definitely still missing at least one item, but I think I got probably everything important from there. Like, that item is probably nothing too big. It's probably five mushrooms or something. And I did find my way out, so I'm not going to go deeper in. Grave Warden Duelist. Oh, there's some extra pots. I want to give them Scarlet Rot. Oh, there we go. Now they have it. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. Compared to poison. Let's sit back and watch him die of Scarlet Rot. Yes. Oh, that is the cutest. Soul Jars of Fortune Ashes. Soul Jars. <laughs> Oh, they're so expensive. Oh, no, they don't take FP. They cost health. Ashen, uh, yep. Consumes HP rather than FP. These reckless spirits sacrifice themselves to vanquish their summoner's foes and explode upon death. Though their bravery is admirable, their explosion can harm friend as well as foe, and they will also immediately explode on contact with fire. Tell the others. Tell them how brightly a fire jar burns. <laughs> As far as I can tell, there is literally no other place to go that hasn't been explored other than the rolled route. The way we have to go for the main quest, the way we should be able to go now that we have the um, both sides of the... I want to say token, but it's not a token. What is it? Medallion. Yeah, now that we have the rolled medallion. We should be able to continue on through here.
I can't use my horse here, but you can. The horse is fine. That's new. It was using big magic to make it look small. Didn't expect Scarab Giant. Same. Here and then praise the hero. I'm one of the statues. I found my pedestal. There's so many messages here. Comfort. Offer Elden Ring? Try gesturing? I'm good. Wait, what's that way? There's also, like, it shows a trail going off that way? That must be after you go up the lift. Or down? This is going down, actually. If that goes down or up or whatever, then where does this go? First off, down, and then grace ahead. Okay, so you want to go down first. Just want to read a couple more. Foggy. We're still on the same map. What are these swirls of light? Forbidden lands. Is this leading to the rolled route? Or this way? Oh, it looks like this way does lead to it. Grand Lift of Rolled, yeah. Okay, then I definitely want to go the other way first. Capital Outskirts.
Hmm? Well, the torch isn't doing much. <laughs> You move to the side! How dare you! I have five more seconds. You move to the side again! I will not stand for this. How dare you dodge mine laser beam? Omen Killer Rollo. Rollo. Reminds me a lot of that, um, I don't remember their name, but there's like, was it Twin Kings or Two Kings or something from the original Dark Souls? It took place in, I think, a, just a black void. Reminds me of that. Oh, now we get a Side of Grace. Wait, we are much further forwards than we were before. Yeah. Still can't use our horse. Well done. Thank you. Omen Killer Rollo. Known as the first Omen Killer, once a famous perfumer, Rollo imbibed a physic to rid himself of emotion, thus enabling him to enact his nightmarish labor, hunting the Omen. Divine Tower of East Altus Gate. Do I have a remembrance to power up here? Well, I think if it lets me in, I think that means yeah. Perhaps this one will power up the other boss, whose name I will surely remember by the time I get to the top of this divine tower. Margit, no. Not... God, no. The fuck was his name? Nope. Morgoth! That was their name, I guess. Praise the fingers. A 
Okay, what does that do? Greatly raises maximum HP. Yeah, they weren't joking about greatly raising it. I looked it up on the wiki. It increases your health by 25% after taking into account all other bonuses. So, like, summarizes your health after all bonuses and then adds 20% of that on top of it. That's really good. I mean, I have... How much do I have? 1,400? Like, I have about 1,500 right now. So, 25% of that would be, like, I don't know, three somewhere between 300 and 400 more hit points. Let's check out the rest of this bridge that it kind of teleported us through. Maybe there's an item or something. There was absolutely nothing. All right, let's check out the Forbidden Lands. What time of day is it? When we first got here, it was nighttime. It's still night. Does it look different at noon? Or does this place just always look like this? I guess it is a, a bit brighter? I'm not sure. It's a very odd sort of fog. Ah, oh, yes, torrent. Where's the map fragment? Oh, it looks like it's past the Grand Lift of Rold. So I think they're forcing us to explore the Forbidden Lands without a map. Like, is this snow or is it something else? I think it's snow. Just this whole place has such an odd vibe. Like, is it snow? Is it some sort of odd sand? Is it ash? I think it's snow, though. It's a giant skull. Let me in the jaw. Let me in. Skeleton. House. Wilson. pathway is getting more and more thin. We're not even halfway there. Decoy ahead? Oh.
No, I'm good on potions. Don't need it. Secret hole ahead? Oh, because <laughs> that's where it disappears. Yeah, pushed it into a secret little hole. Good job. Blackblade Kindred. Oh, wow, that almost one shot at me. I don't think it's going to reach. Come on, come closer, please. That's backing off. Yeah, potion's not working anymore. I'm just out of range. Black Axe. First time we've gotten the black set, I think. We've had their blades many times, but yeah, the black thing's new. Deals wholly uh, mended with blackened corpse wax. Okay, so that's the different the difference. Also, this one says deals holy damage. This one doesn't. Ah, the um. Black and Corpse Wax is the mark of those who serve Maliketh, the Black Blade. Yeah, the normal one doesn't do holy damage and doesn't require faith. Black one does.
Butterfly ahead. Oh, yeah. And here's the grand lift. Spend our level on mind. You, your feet turn back. Ahead lies the land of the giant's flame, and the way forth is forbidden. <sighs> Hear me. The burning of the air tree is the first cardinal sin. Doing so will unbind destined death and slay the world itself. I don't know, sounds pretty metal to me. Who would dare put you up to such a task? Most certainly not the fingers. Trees are all, like, ephemeral. That's so cool. Mountain top of the giants. quite narrow. Looks like there's some extensive ruins. This episode here so i hope you've enjoyed so far and when we return we're going to explore the mountaintop of the giants <laughs>